Cricket South Africa is yet to announce decisive action following Mark Boucher's apology for racism claims against him. At the same time, the organization has said it will investigate concerns raised by its now former assistant coach Enoch Inkwe about uh, the Proteas team culture. All of this should be seen as a significant blow to the organization's attempt to reform itself. ENCA sports supporter Lonim Tukuru takes a look at where this week's events leave Cricket South Africa. The fallout from Monday's Baucha Ngwe double strike threatens to collapse Cricket South Africa's attempt to steady its innings. Mark's got a bit of double trouble in that despite the question marks around his appointment, it also has to do with the way in which um, the allegations are against, of racism against him and now what Enoch has raised. You know, these are very concerning. You need to appoint people that have the confidence of the cricket community and that have the skill set to take cricket to, to the right level. Otherwise, you're going to keep having these punctures in the system where it's almost like every month there must be an explosion of some sort. Uh, that sets cricket back um, a long way. While CSA must still respond to issues raised about its transformation shortcomings, that hasn't stopped the comparisons. If you look at how England um, dealt with the issue of racism when Ali Robinson, uh, when there was a Twitter storm regarding his past and racist and sexist comment that he had made. England literally moved decisively on the same day to issue a very clear statement, suspended him for the next set of games. They investigated and the findings led to him getting a, um, a fine as well. So we, we are very lackluster when it comes to dealing with issues of racism. Public calls for head coach Mark Boucher to step down have support from a former CSA president. Well, the apology that I, I have here in front of me, I do not think it's sufficient to make sure that there will be peace in South African cricket. I believe that the time has come that he lives gracefully for the sake of South African cricket so that we are able to move on with the game. Meanwhile, others implicated at CSA's transformation hearings will be given an opportunity to respond to claims made against them. Um, Johannesburg.